Now you and Mike is cool. Mike who? MJ. Oh, indeed, indeed. What's the what, what, what's the conversation like? What, when, have you ever went to him, went to Mike Jordan and said, "Man, what, what type of advice did you went to him for, and what did he provide for you?" So I went to Mike. I went to Mike early in my career, mm. and I was just you know I was a nigga from B more man who just knew how to go get it. Like I ain't really had. I was just green, but I knew how to go get it. And for him to sign me at 19 years old to represent his brand, I was the first signature athlete. Under the Jordan brand, but you was that <clears throat> nigga coming out of Syracuse. So when I so when I signed with him, I knew he had my back. For him to take that chance with me, I knew he had my back. I I was having a hard time with like certain certain players in the game, certain situations in the game, knowing how to figuring out how to how to beat certain defenses. Mm -hmm. And I went to MJ for that. I went to speak. I went to spend two weeks, a week and a half with MJ in Chicago. We trained every morning, six in the morning, six thirty in the morning. But it was more the conversations that we that we had. He <clears throat> the way he broke film down to me. Like I ain't know how to watch film. Mm -hmm. He broke it down to me. Watch it like this. Do this. Do that. Why would you do it? Questioning me. Then he was like taught me really how to break down the art of scoring the basketball. And I'm like, man, I already oh I already know how to put the ball in all. That's what I do. But he was like, nah, it's a. I'm gonna give you the mental part of it. Listen, he said, how much you want to average? He said, you average about 28 right now. I said, yeah, he said, here's the easy way to go get it. Seven points a quarter, right? He said, break down seven points in a quarter. That's two layups, maybe a three, a layup, two free throws, a three. You might get hot one quarter. You might have 11, 12, 13, one quarter. Now in the second quarter, you can pace. As long as you get your 14 in two quarters. Right. So I'm like, damn, you just broke. That's crazy. Right. Yeah. And I'm thinking about that in the games. That next season, I averaged almost 30. Right. But I'm thinking about like what he's telling me. Like right. I ain't gotta go get it as much as I really want to go get it. Right. As fast as I want to go get right. it. You just slow the game down. Right. And that was probably the best advice that I've that he's ever gave me. Y'all ever had any uh uh you know, competition talk where Mike was like You can't you, have comp you, you can't, know how to barbecue you can't, chicken. Can't, you can't <laughs> you can't argue with that man. Like you just can't. It's impossible. You, you, did you ever see it like Mike if you was But he know he, he, know, he know Mike, how, like it, he know it's certain of us, yeah. you know, that we go back at him. Like we'd talk our shit to him. Right. But then he gets to start talking about winning and all you know what I'm saying, rings and shit. That's right. like that's his defense mechanism. Right. You yeah. throw your ring. Come on, Mike. Don't right. But what's what's the example of something you didn't say to Mike like, yeah, I'd have cooked your ass. He was back too then. small. Like you told we him said, we all we talk shit. He told me I was he done made me run around the game. I was out of shape, shit like that. Like, you out of shape, man. I'm like, you don't get tired chasing me. Damn. He used to say shit like that. He was just, I, I tell him, man, you too small. You was, you know, you was light. Right. You light ass, man. You, you light ass, bro. 